All right, I am getting ready to do a creative experiment, something I have not ever done before, but I'm really excited to see what my first results um, get me. So I'm going to do a pour painting project. I have a simple canvas board right here that I wanna experiment on and kind of get a feel of how things work. Um, I've already um, pre-mixed my paint colors and my white. I have a torch ready. Um, just to know that I am using the Flood um, Floetrol for my paint flow. And I didn't do anything real major when it comes to my paint. So I just went ahead and I already had some craft paints that I have used over the years on projects. So I'm using these for my experiment here. Uh, just kind of save a few dollars that way. And then also... I have gone ahead and put in some pouring oil in my white paint just to um, see what I get for the cell. So that's where I'm at. And then I do carry um, uh, white bulk paint a lot um, just with any of my projects that I'm working on. So that's where the white came from. All right, so let me go ahead and get another little cup here. And I'm gonna start pouring in my paints. Now because this is my first project, I really am experimenting with the amount of paint that I need to do on such a small little canvas and I kind of give me an idea of what I'm going to do on larger canvases as I expand my skill set here. Alright, so there I have done the paint on that and now I'm going to go ahead and put some white paint on the canvas. help the paint flow a little bit on there. You'll notice that I'm not using gloves. A lot of people like to use gloves um, and I understand why they would do that. Um, I don't like to because I feel that it restricts how my hands are moving, but we'll see as I learn more on how to do this if I eventually start using gloves. All right. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take the paint that I have just poured into this one cup and I'm using clear plastic cups for this just so I could see what I'm working on. And let's see what happens.
Ah, I can already see some of the cells starting to form. That's great. Okay, so here's the part that I'm kind of excited to see what happens. I'm going to try the torch. I think I'll go up a little bit higher. I can see the cells forming. Can you see that? It's pretty neat. Kind of like how things are turning out over here. I can see the cells through here. One of the paints that I put in here was a silver metallic, and that's cr um, creating some really interesting cell designs. I can see it over here. It's really kind of neat how that's forming. Well, I'm going to go ahead and let that dry now um, and see what the final results are. Just kind of get a little close up of this. And there we go. Thank you for watching.